Welcome to another App Manager 8 video. My name is Michi Schniebel. I'm Product Manager for App Manager. So in this video I'm talking about the health check and in specific the agent component. So I hope you have seen the Heartbeat video uh, because I'm talking about the Heartbeat KS here. Um, that KS has a section called Job Monitoring Options. And uh, that is uh, the uh, agent component uh, where we do some very nice uh, health check uh, things like um, checking how long a job runs. So you, you have the, the average runtime of a job and, and the maximum runtime of a job. And you get that information from your um, troubleshooter. So I have uh, a troubleshooter here. And uh, here you have the information about the iteration runtime, which is the, the runtime uh, the last time the job uh, was running it's almost three seconds and here's the average which is three seconds so that's pretty fast and that's uh, pretty much what we expect here um, so this job monitors that these times are not off the charts so um, you have a, a setting here where you can ignore jobs under 30 seconds so so if the job uh, takes uh, 29 seconds, we don't care. This is this is totally fine, and there could be many reasons for that. Um, there's also a grace period where we say, you know, if it's five times uh, larger than uh, the the average job uh, runtime, uh, then you know it's it's fine. And then you have the event severity uh, if if the job exceeds uh, these settings. Um, so the other one is uh, when the job takes longer than the entire uh, job schedule. So what you uh, define in the job schedule in the first tab. Uh, let's say the job uh, should run every minute and now the job takes a minute and 20 seconds. We will raise an event immediately as you know you, you cannot run that schedule with that job then. Uh, or the job has a problem or your machine has a problem. So that has a different severity. Um, you can also define a maximum um, for how long jobs can run. Uh, so by default we put 180 seconds in here. Um, if jobs take longer than this um, and this is okay, you can define these jobs here uh, we, we would skip these jobs and not raise an alert on these jobs. Uh, but normally this is way too long and um, we raise a different uh, event with a different severity for that uh, uh, incident here. And then um, if a job uh, was not found, so if the QDB thinks there's a job but it's not there, um, that's another severity. And we also have a timeout, so how long it uh, should take before we get these numbers from all the jobs. Um, so we, we say in 10 seconds we need to get these numbers. If that takes longer, the agent might have a problem and we raise another event on that. You can also define if the uh, error message is in XML or clear text. So um, let's see how this works uh, in the real life. Um, in your management groups, you have the agent management computers, and there's an event view. All uh, AM Health uh, events go into that event view, and I have one event open here. Um, and you see that the uh, CPU loaded job um, on on this one uh, machine here uh, took 33 seconds. So it's above the 30 second uh, time where we said we don't care, um, and it's uh, way much than the average of uh, 2.6 seconds it normally takes. So there are many reasons for that. Uh, the, the, the one reason we see all the time is that the API has a problem. So WMI or SNMP, for instance, sometimes uh, don't uh, respond. And then our KS is asking uh, for a value of the connection is established to the API, but then the API doesn't give any response for a long time or sometimes even never and that could cause jobs to run really long and it's uh, an indicator that you might have a problem with that machine um, 
or that you might have a problem with our agents. In both cases, we are telling you immediately if this happens and preventing a situation where the agent can become unresponsive and you miss data points. So, so this is to prevent the situation we are checking with the heartbeat that you're missing data or missing events. Uh, and it's a great new feature. It's on by default and you can disable this feature by uh, changing the configuration of the heartbeat job or changing your policies on that management group.